This is what I was looking for yesterday. I couldn't find the darn thing, and I had them hidden away in my closet. Well, I don't actually have a closet. It's a, more like a hole in the wall. Well, it's not even that. It's a little shed in my bedroom. Anyway, I want to put these on because I want to get this a little bit better. Now, all this is stiff as all get out and ready for clay, but there's one part that isn't, and that's this part. This is about, well, I've had one coat of uh, stiffy on this, and it, it worked really well. I don't think I'll be using it in the future, only because it's taken me three days to get this far with all of this, and it would only take a couple of minutes with uh, melted wax, dipped cloth, and stuff like that so I think what I'm going to do is uh, ah, let me get my brush I think what I'm going to do is not use this stuff anymore after this and if this doesn't work out then I'm going to definitely go back to the wax now I'm just going to put uh, a layer of stiffy on here and I'm going to finger under here to, and hold this while I paint it because what happened was uh, the uh, stiffen spray worked fine except when I put this stuff on it it softened the material again uh, because uh, the stiffen when it gets wet just goes back to what it was and so I am trying just to shape this in a way that it will look right. I may have to fill this trough with uh, clay, which is fine. No big deal there. Because I didn't have, I couldn't find these stupid gloves. I couldn't shape this the way I wanted it, and uh, I will now. about it getting on my hands. I almost used my dishwashing gloves. <laughs> the pink ones! All right, I'm just hitting these areas that didn't uh, quite take on the uh, stiffener. The only problem with this is it, even with the fan, it takes hours for this to stiffen. And so I'm not going to be able to get anything done today. I'm trying to get this to a point where I can take it to uh, Dillon, Montana this weekend. Um, in a couple of days, about three days, I'm going to be doing a, uh, an appearance on an art walk there in Dillon uh, uh, on Saturday, I think. Or maybe it's Friday. I think it's Friday, actually. And uh, the, the second. Um, and so, I was going to go to the foundry today, but I am not feeling all that hot right now. I've been suffering from a cold or something for the last several days, and uh, I'm feeling better today, but uh, still not 100%. face as it is right now. I'm going to redo the eyes because I really don't like them.
whenever you uh, change the direction of the uh, pupil of the eye, it has a tendency to push and distort the uh, eyelid in that direction. So if I'm looking this way, the eyelid will be pushed out because of the shape of the pupil of the eye. And the same with uh, over here, when he's looking out this way, the shape of the uh, skin above the eye and the, the uh, eyelid will change uh, to be pushed out in that direction. That's one of the f little secrets of making an eye look real is to uh, remember there's structure to the eye ball itself and it has an effect on all of the uh, skin and uh, the eyelid around it so That's why I always like to have the eyes looking someplace other than straight forward because it really brings out a character in the eyes that uh, you don't get uh, when it's looking straight forward. Nothing wrong with straight forward, it's just, I think it just looks cooler with it not looking straight forward. So that's the eyes for now and the face and uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'll pick this up uh, tomorrow when I get the uh, cloth all completely, you know, hardened. So I'll pick this up tomorrow and we'll call it quits for today.